helmet is the classic and most well-known type of Greek helmet. It's used throughout the Archaic and Classical era. 650 BCE to 323 BCE. This includes the Battle of Marathon, Thermopylae, Plataea, and also the start of the Peloponnesian Wars. Though it was not the only helmet used in these times. It would have been made out of bronze, either hammered out of one sheet, or some fairly recent evidence has pointed to the fact that they would have been made in some sort of mould. It weighs about four and a half pounds, and it protected the wearer from his neck and up. Now, the Corinthian helmet went through many stages. First, what I have here, the early Corinthian helmet. The early Corinthian helmet differed from the rest because it has no earpieces, the eyes are quite narrow, and the cheeks are quite close together. Then, around 500 BCE, when the Persians invaded, the helmet had to evolve, so that the hoplite could talk and hear different commands to counteract the different Persian battle manoeuvres. This is when the late Corinthian helmet came into play. The late Corinthian helmet was different from the early Corinthian helmet because it had earpieces, the eyes were slightly bigger, and the cheeks were just a bit further apart from each other. This was so that the hoplite could hear and communicate in the battlefield. There is also one other type of Corinthian helmet. This one differs the most from the rest. It was very open-faced, very large eye holes, and like this one, it did evolve through the ages, but it was a lot more curved, it did not have the triangular ridge, and this just sort of went around with them, slightly less well-known, but it was there. Now, the Corinthian helmets usually had these horsehair crests. We don't particularly know why they had them, but we do know that they did, thanks to paintings and sculptures. Now, the most common plume that we see is one that goes front to back, but there is also ones, like this one here, that go from side to side. Many people think that a sideways crest is to symbolise rank, like a king or a general, but there is not much proof supporting this. Another theory is, as the Hoplite was a citizen soldier, he would have to pay for his own armour, in that he could decide. But this is sort of an area with these helmets that we have lots of blank spots and we know that they had them, we just don't really know why. Now, the Corinthian helmet is a very unique looking helmet, it's very curved and elegant, even the eyes are curved, similar to that of a leaf. Now, the Greeks like to decorate their armour, so usually the wooden crest holder would have been painted with some sort of pattern. It also had this decorative edging that went around the helmet. Even the colour of the horsehair was different. Spartans are typically depicted with red, but they would have been many colours. Black, white, white and black stripes, red and black stripes, basically endless. Each helmet would have been individual and unique from all of the others. And finally, what does it feel like to wear a Corinthian helmet? It's easy to look at one and just see it, but I'm going to explain to you how it feels. First, you'll notice that there is this. This is to go on top of your head, it's to pad this out, it might not have been made for you, it may have possibly been made for your grandfather or someone before that, and also to absorb blows. Goes like that. Some of them may have had chin straps, but there is not much evidence supporting this fact either. And basically, my vision in this early Corinthian helmet is very restricted. I can see forwards, I cannot see my hands, I can only just see my hands from there, so I can see about that. I cannot see anything below here except for something out of this gap here. I also have a blank spot here. I cannot see my hand, I can see it now, I can see it now, but when it's like that, I practically can't see it. I can just see a thin line of skin. Anyway. I hope you really enjoyed this video, I hope that you learned something about the printing helmet, and if you'd like to see more of these videos, please press that big red button if you already have, and you are a true Spartan. Cheers guys!